guys and welcome to the family fudge today is kind of a sad but necessary day you can probably tell if you look behind me that i'm starting to take down my christmas decorations so i scoured the internet looking for some new storage ideas and that's exactly what i'm going to share with you today so stay tuned Okay guys, so Christmas decorations. I'm kind of sad to see them go, but I'm also happy to move on to what's next. We have some birthdays coming up, and then Valentine's Day, and so on. Now I know some people like to take their decorations down the day after Christmas and just get it over with, while other people like to leave theirs until well into January or beyond. But for me, I kind of like to take them down around New Year's, New Year's Day to be exact. But this year I'm doing it a little bit different so I can share some storage ideas with you. So let's get started. So this year, when I went to put out my Christmas decorations, my plan was to put them in the exact same place I did the previous year. But unfortunately, I wasn't planning on having a serious case of mommy brain. I literally could not remember where everything went last year. So this year, I planned ahead. I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought some white string tags. Then, before I took the decorations down, I went around the house and added them to certain decorations. So next year, I can easily tell which strand of lights goes on the back door, which goes on the mantle, and which one goes in the dining room. This was super cheap to do. And the tags are easily removable without damaging my decorations. Next up, I have several frugal ways to store your ornaments. Now I'm a big fan of the heavy duty store bought ornament boxes. They really do the job very well, but they are pricey. This one I got at Walmart and it was $15. There's definitely a less expensive alternative. I found this similar sized bin at Walmart as well and it was only $6. Then I lined the bottom with plastic cups. This is a great way to use leftover cups that you might have used for your Christmas party. Now each one of these cups can hold one to two ornaments depending on the size. Next I just cut up some boxes, some of the boxes that we had from our Christmas presents. And this is going to help add more layers to my box. Now this year I also had some leftover clear cups and they work just as well. I really like that you can see the ornament because the cup is clear. It just looks really cool. After that, I added one more layer of cardboard. But this didn't leave me enough room for one more layer of cups. So instead, I used the top layer for ornaments that were larger that could lay down flat. And there you have it. This works just as well as the expensive one and it was half the price. Next up, I have another cheap way to store Christmas ornaments that you might not have heard of, and it's by using an empty egg carton. All you have to do is place one ornament in each section of the egg carton. And I figure since egg cartons can protect eggs, they can probably protect my ornaments just as well. Now here's a quick tip you guys. If you have ornaments that are larger, instead of using an egg carton, try using one of the plastic cartons for apples that you might find at Costco. This is basically the same thing, just larger. Perfect for your larger ornaments. Another frugal way to store Christmas ornaments is by using Ziploc bags. Now this is something that I've actually been doing for years and it works out perfectly, especially for my ornaments that are plastic, not fragile, and I'm not worried about them breaking. So you just take a gallon size bag and fill it up with the ornaments. I like to sort them by color and size. Then I just place them inside my storage bin. Now I've actually been reusing the same Ziploc bags for years, so, that, so that's definitely gonna save you some money as well. Next up, I have an easy and frugal way to protect your leftover wrapping paper so it doesn't get torn or wrinkled. Now I feel like just about everyone and their mom probably knows this hack already. In fact, this is something that my mom used to do years ago and she definitely handed it down to me. All you have to do is save some of your empty toilet paper rolls. Now you just take your empty roll, cut it in half, and wrap it around your wrapping paper. Now I like to add one at the top and at the bottom. This is going to keep your wrapping paper rolled up 
but it's going to be gentle, so it's not gonna dent or wrinkle your paper. My next storage idea is another good way to use up some of those leftover cardboard boxes that you might have got from Amazon. I use a box cutter to cut out squares of the cardboard, and then I wrap my strands of Christmas lights around the piece of cardboard. And I like to add a little notch on either side to keep the ends of my strand in place. That way they won't get all tangled up. Now before I put it into my box, I like to write on the cardboard where that strand is going to go. That's gonna make it so much easier next year when it's time to put it up. I also decided it would be a really good idea to keep all of my outdoor decorations together so they're all in this one bin. Moving on, I have an easy way to store beaded strands of garland so they don't become a tangled mess. Now I've had these wooden strands of garland for years and I would be really sad if they broke or got damaged. So this is the perfect way to keep them safe and it's cheap as well. I'm just going to use some empty water bottles and I'm going to store one strand per bottle. Now as I'm putting the strand into the bottle, it's creating a little coil, so it's not gonna tangle up with itself. And the end of the strand is gonna stay at the top, making it really easy for me to pull it out next year. This is super easy to do, and I think it looks really cool. Now this year, I ended up filling eight different bins of Christmas decorations. So I've come up with an easy and cheap way to keep it all organized. Now this year I decided to pack my bins by which room they go in. So all the decorations that go in the living room are in one bin, and all the decorations that go outside are in one bin together. Next, I created a simple labeling system, one that's easy to change from year to year. So on each one of my squares I have a number, so each of the bin has a number, and then I also have space to write what is in that box. So this is the living room box, or this is the dining room box, and so on. And then I also left some space for me to write basically what's inside the box. I might not write down every single little thing in the box, but just so I have a general idea. Then I just cut them out and stuck them into some label pockets. I found these really cool label pockets at Target, and they're actually meant to go on bins. So they're sticky on my back, but you can also reposition them if you need to and they were only $3 for 20 of these pockets. Now I will go ahead and put these labels on thefamilyfudge.com as a free printable if you'd like to use them yourself. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, could you please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Now if you'd like to see more videos from me, you could click on the link up here or down there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.